Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, yet again, we're going to talk about the September 2024 update for Windows 11. And in this video, we're talking about both version 23H2 and 24H2. The updates are quite similar because it is the past Tuesday. So I figured that it's better that I include both of them in a single video as I've done with the C release for the month of August. That time, I also did a video for both 23H2 and 24H2 because the updates were similar there as well. So in this video, we're talking about the build at 2 2 631.4169 or KB5043076 for 23H2 and for 24H2 this is the build 26100.1742 or KB5043080. As I've said the updates are quite similar so we're just gonna quickly mention what is new and what was changed in this September 2024 update. If you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with a video. So as always, these updates are security updates because we're talking about the past Tuesday, an update that is released monthly on the second Tuesday of the month. And of course, it is a very important update to install because it fixes and improves a lot of security issues and bugs, but also extends the rollout for certain features that were announced in the optional update for the last month, the C release. In this case, the optional features or the features that are rolling out right now are pretty much the same for for both 23H2 and 24H2. We're talking about the option to share directly to your Android phone inside Windows Share, as you can see here. Also Narrator and again, voice access are getting some new improvements. And Microsoft is working on the File Explorer to fix quite a few issues that we've had in certain previous builds. And one new addition related to the widgets board, which Microsoft uses to announce that they're using this update to improve the widgets board, to improve security and the APIs for creating widgets. Now we're talking about a few things that are happening only on 24 H2. So one of them being related to Windows installer, when it repairs an application, the user account control does not prompt for your credentials. After you install this update, the user account control will prompt for them. Because of this, you must update your automation scripts, if you have them, of course. And also Microsoft fixed a very long standing issue related to the performance page inside the test manager. Graphs on the performance page in test manager do not show the correct colors when you use dark mode. So right now that should be fixed also on 23H2 and on 24H2. And of course on these builds, we're also getting the Windows 11 services stack, which ensures that it can install and update your system reliably. For version 23H2, the services stack build is 22631.4166, and for 24H2, the services stack is 26100.1738. There are also a few known issues noted in the official Microsoft blog posts, but you can check those out in the article below if you're interested. So this is the past Tuesday or the September 2024 update for 23H2, also 24H2. Of course, starting next month, Month, I think we're only going to cover the 24H2 updates because, of course, as you know, at the end of this month or at the beginning of next month, Microsoft will officially release Windows 11 24H2 for all users on the main release. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Was your man from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.